Hello buddies and today welcome to another Roblox tutorial and as you can see why am I in here dressed up like a Santa hat don't ask me why and yes and today we got another tutorial so today we're going to show you how to make your own custom leaderboard with a GUI like this and it also has your picture on your top so that's a good catch so anyhow I'm going to show you how to do it and how you can use this on your game so yeah let's get into the video so thank you to this dude who just requested this this and also him for making me making this video so yeah thank you for these dudes so first off what you're gonna do is you're gonna get get this model so as you can see this is the leaderboard GUI so I know I'm just making model videos like that but this is what you need to do get this model and then as you can see when you get the model as you can see you will appear in your my models if it does not just refresh it and then what you're going to do is click it and you can see it already appeared and then put it on your start to GUI. I already have one right here so yeah. So as you can see this is the leaderboard GUI. You cannot really see it right now because I already uh, moved some positioning stuff. So as you can see we got the script. We're going to talk about that later. But what we're going to do is we're going to see the player list button. This one right here is the player list button and this is the image button right inside that right here. So. The player list button is an image frame, so thanks to Roundify, I will, I will put this plugin in the link description. And the image button is this picture right here. It's very specific, and it's also a cool picture to use. So I will include that one. And yeah, here's the player holder, and as you can see, it holds the player. And we got the UI list sale. UI list layout is currently a useful tool to list out your layout, so I recommend you use that. And we got the frame, which holds everything. And then inside this leadboard script is we got a template. So this is the template, what you're seeing here. This is the template. So as you can see, it, inside here is a player picture, which is your profile picture. And your player name is right right here. Now let's go to this leaderboard script. As you can see, it already written to you. So I'm going to show you what it needs to do. First off, we're going to have to uh, remove, disable the player list, means we're going to get their player list and we're going to set it to false means it will disable it. Then we're going to get these cool variables. So we're going to get the player list button and the frame. And what we're going to do that we're going to do is we're going to open and close GUI by using tween position. I'm not using the same old uh, visible to off and off. So we're going to use tween position. And then what we're going to do is we're going to update the leaderboard by using a while loop. So wait while one do or that you can change the seconds whatever you want but I recommend one so it will work flawlessly and then whenever we make a frame we're gonna have to delete everything we have to delete everything so we're getting the player holder and then we have to delete everything so we can start fresh and what do we do is we're going to make the frame for the player this one right here is very important so the eye is the index and the player is the for the template and stuff and we're gonna get the player means like that and then what you do is we're gonna make a temp get the template and then we have to clone it right here and then this is the template dot name which is for your player name so we're you know label the templates for your player name and then for the player picture what we're going to do is we're gonna get their uh, thumbnail sync which we will get their picture and then it will get their profile picture and if you and I already made a video about it so I'll put it up in the cards and what are we gonna do is we're gonna get the text we're gonna get the player name and then we're gonna put it in the player holder and one thing I did is some little bit of touches because this one is a scrolling frames so what we're gonna do is if game.players is greater than seven so if the max if the player limit is actually greater than seven then we're going to update the canvas size so scrolling frame has canvas sizes so so if it's zero that means you don't have enough space so that means it's just full but if your canvas size is one then we're, then we could scroll whatever we want so we have much space so basically i am right here with my buddies right here so as you can see these are going to be my test people so as you can see i could see uh, all my buddies so as you can see here these are pretty examples so I have my leaderboard and as you can see the player list actually worked so thank you all for just coming they will join some more soon basically that is all for today's video so 
If you actually like it, please make sure you subscribe and like that button. Turn on these post notifications on so you won't miss any of the video. And anyways, that was all for today. Peace out.